Welcome to another episode of Film in Minnesota. We appreciate you joining us today. We're going to switch things up and we're going to talk about filmmaking process here in Minnesota today. So <laughs> buckle your seatbelts, kids, because it's going to get cray. Thanks for joining. It's going to be a bumpy one, I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. That's a reference. To, We're live. Yeah, the modern day years. You're live? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for having me, Alan and Rihanna. <laughs> Did I get that right? Huh? I said it really fast in case I messed it up. No. No? Ra. Ra. Hana. Rahana. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yeah. We've been bonding already. Yes. So, Ryan. Yes. You, you do film here, right? I do. In Minnesota, that is. I do. Exclusively Minnesota? Well, I have shot a couple things in Wisconsin, if you count that, but Ooh, I don't ouch. know if I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we that, won't. it just happened across the border. <laughs> it wasn't we a plan. It wasn't a plan thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm from. I was born in Duluth, Minnesota, and oh. and lived in uh, St. Paul and surrounding areas for longer than I grew up in Duluth. Now, so um, so yes. What brought you down here? From to, Duluth. To Minneapolis. Oh, from Duluth. Oh, yeah. I went to college. Oh. And then just never left. Gotcha. So that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that was nice. a while back. So what got your, I mean, for you, Yeah. what was your start in film? Was it through school at all? or Like the very beginnings of where I started getting to film? Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. Um, no, I did done, I probably, my dad bought, you know, a VHS camcorder. Nice. Like in 1988. <laughs> Or 89, Fancy. something like that. And uh, I started making, prob- like almost immediately picked that up and it kind of became, not the family toy, it became my toy and started making movies with my friends, uh, I think eighth grade or something. Wow. You know? and, and we just did that, basically never stopped. I mean, I still have some of those things from uh, weekends and you know, we do that while the people are out doing other things and it evolved in a lot of horror uh, <laughs> to begin with. Uh, we watched a lot of oh, Friday the 13th. You? I don't know. What's eighth grade? Eighth, ninth? I mean, no. we did it all the way through high school. I mean, it's never stopped. I mean, I made shorts and like bits and skits <laughs> ever since he bought that thing. Um, what, what kind of horror? Film. Well, we you know when I was a kid we watched. I mean, we, we, it was Friday the Thirteenth was Friday the Thirteenth Halloween, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Where you know those were that was all it. The those were the, all the slasher films. Those yeah. were the biggest. Was it late eighties? I mean, not. I know those things were earlier than that, but I mean, I had seen some of those before we got the camera. So yeah, we were heavily influenced by that stuff, and uh, even at ninth you know eighth grade ninth grade we were we were taking off the chains off of chainsaws Mm -hmm. so we could actually hit the chainsaw on somebody while it was going (laughs) you know and have them scream and you know the cutaway (laughs) and uh later on we had a guy that i knew i had a friend that his dad ran like a pump uh, factory or like a machine tool factory and we used to go make films up in the when they closed and so we had like this huge warehouse space and stuff when we were in high school and we'd make all these like horrible action movies or whatever and <laughs> i was i was always like a paratrooper or something like that mm. and, uh, and but we used to make like shotgun blasts out of acetylene in garbage bags we, we'd fill it up with acetylene and then hit a hot poker to it and it would like explode and like blow people's clothes back it was probably really dangerous <laughs> But that's yeah. what we did for like a special effects. They're all yeah. practical. So, <laughs> so off camera, we'd blow a settling at somebody and hope they didn't kill ourselves. Right. So late yep. 80s. Yep. <laughs> up north in the country. It wasn't the country. Was it country? No, I, lived, I grew up in Duluth. So, I mean. Well, you know. It's, it was more country than Minneapolis, but yeah. less country than Twig. Okay. <laughs> I've know. heard of Twig, <laughs> yeah. only because the name <laughs> right, is yeah. so odd. Right, yeah. yeah. It was nearby, but... So, 
You started with horror, did a little action. Yeah. What's out of like every genre that you have done, and even I mean, if there's something that you haven't done that you're like dying to do, yeah. like, what's your favorite? What's your go to? If you could make one more epic movie ever, what genre would it be? Well, uh, we lean we lean comedy okay. these days, and I can't I can't seem to get away from that. Mm-hmm. But I do like to. I think my favorite thing is to always crossbreed the genre yeah. um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. into horror comedy or revenge comedy or you, action comedy. You it do it do almost that. seems like that's what we always do. It's a, We've got something that, but comedy is the, somewhere along the line, I, I feel like doing a drama or things like that just bore, it would bore me <laughs> or I don't, I, I just want, I just, my goal is to make somebody laugh with, yeah. the, with the movie we're making somehow and uh, I don't take myself or the movie I, mean, I take the movie serious right. but at the same point I want to have fun when I'm doing it exactly and um, and so comedy comedy's where we go and that also stemmed from me meeting Brian Turek who I work with pretty much on every film that I've made since 2009 or something like that yeah how did you meet Brian he he worked where I worked for like a month or something <laughs> and uh, he just and, and he had he must have had a, he yeah. must have had an interest he had an interest in in doing film as well he'd been writing scripts and stuff and kind of trying to figure out hey how do I get this made and so he just kind of saw that I was doing this with the other group of guys that I'd done stuff with and through work and so he, he kind of approached me and at the time it just kind of worked out I was I just was doing whatever I wanted at the time and wasn't you didn't have any like expectations or or like uh almost we weren't even part of a scene at all even around even the Twin Cities we just I was just working and me and the guys that I hung out with were just making films still just like I did in high school just like I did in college we just made them and then we showed them at places and sent them out um but I didn't know anybody like in the community really Mm -hmm. right and so I hook up we just we just hung out he bought a bunch of uh you know selected assorted meat sandwiches and we'd meet at his house <laughs> and uh chat about movies and we just kind of hit it off he had the same kind of sense of humor that jived with wait me. a minute yeah he had assorted meat sandwiches some deli yeah platters. yeah yeah that was a big that was a big thing early on we'd go over to his house and brian would always have a nice we a selection like there's more we well there was a yeah there was a couple of people at the time was it i can't remember related some no, no. I think he just had a guy that he worked with, and then you know, okay. I don't know if uh, I've never the, heard of these types of parties. The meat sandwich parties. The meat <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> no, no. Go talk we don't want, about films. Like I, I might have said too much. <laughs> I might have said too much. No, I don't know. If he hears this, he'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm still trying to understand. Yeah, so, a little. A yeah, little. yeah. Well, Turk never lets you go hungry. You know, oh, okay. you, want, you know, he's gonna, I, gonna I go over to his house that. and we're gonna chat. He's gonna supply some food and beverages. Okay. I know. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I do too. You know. <laughs> um, but we hit it off, man, and uh, and and it, we started. He he started writing. I agreed to make some shorts, and we just kept. It's kind of kept going from there. Um, was as far as like from 2009 to now. I mean, yeah. I have made other a few other things with some different people, or not so much with him, but not much. When it comes to short films or other projects, um, yeah, I made a the- lot of work outside of that but most of that's like through work or suicide stuff that's you know different right i did have a question on that um no sorry which which yeah so you've like you just said worked a lot with the same crew um, yeah but and you've worked a little bit with new teams so what is that experience like compared to knowing so well the people that you're working with on the rest of those films um yeah, I do work. I do work with a lot of the same crew. I mean, it it seems a lot of the main players. There's, um, but there's always we always have, depending on the needs. You know, there's people that I reach out to to see if they're interested in in working on on the stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but it's, I think it's the it's it's I think it boils back to where I was saying before of the when I do this, it's. It's. I want it to be fun, and there's like a certain level of the trust factor of. I know what I know what this person's gonna do. I've worked with this person before, um, and it, and it didn't always 
you know, it wasn't always the same crew. There's only been, you know, uh, Brian McDonald, who uh, I've worked with even longer than Brian Turek as far as films go. That goes, he goes way back to like 1999. I've known mm-hmm. that guy. And we've made movies together. And he's acted in my movies and made music and everything. And, um, and, and he's just kind of, he's kind of followed it right right through and so he's been a constant factor in, in our movies as well yeah. but I've worked on other teams and it's uh, or teams or teams of people and I've had f- I've had fun and I actually wish I had um, time to do that more but I think what it boils down to for me the way the li- my life is right now is is that if I have some time to make a film between what I wanted what I'd like to do or me and Brian would like to do when we when we work together that's what I do just because I only have a limited amount of time between, you know, I mean, you have two kids and uh, four different sports and work mm-hmm. and uh, the wife and everything else, you know, That's in life. And, we, and <laughs> so to, to find those times, I mean, and then I, you know, I do work in video uh, for my job. And so to do that all the, all the time is, Believe me, I I see stuff all the it's time. Taxing. I see stuff all the time where I'm like, man, I wish I wish I could. You know, someone's like, hey, I'm looking for someone to help, or yeah. I'm, I'm looking for some. I'd love to be able to join in, and and I'd do anything to be honest. I I know that I most of my stuff, you know, I directed, and I help with with the writing and we produce, and I edit most of my stuff. Um, but I'd, you know, I'd I'd hold a bounce card all day on some of these projects, and just just to hang out and do that, but. It boils down to if can I do, can I do this and do the stuff I want, mm-hmm. and just the the life that I have, I guess, is is tough to do both or three things, and and that's it. So sometimes I have to make a choice, and and that's that's why I don't. That's why I don't end up working with more people. Maybe otherwise, you know, maybe that's it's good. me. You <laughs> you have priorities, so that's good. Yeah, that you know what those are. Yeah. <laughs> I just had a question that stemmed right off of what you said, and now it's gone. I was talking about... It was something you've just said. Roll uh, the tapes back. (laughs) Uh, He wants to work. He would like to work with others. Yeah. uh, Yeah, I would. I would. I would. It's just... I think that's what I was saying. If that doesn't ring a bell, I don't know how to help you. (laughs) Everything you were just saying. It'll come back. Oh, okay. You got it? Yes, there it is. Okay. I got it. That's <laughs> how quickly it goes. So you just mentioned that you've done um, like a ton of different things on set. I mean, you're a producer, you're a director, you're an editor. Like you do anything that you need to do um, I, for your projects. Yep. You do it all. What is your favorite thing, favorite role um, to have on a movie set? Uh, on the set or just in general or well, just in general just in general, in general. Um, I like editing the project is something that I always like to do um, but coming up like the sessions we have when we're brainstorming an idea and coming up with the idea and when that thing is decided on and some of the pre-pro stuff and figuring out all the issues and I love that part of filmmaking. Um, oh. Almost solving stuff before the shoot. The shoot's actually probably my least favorite part of the whole process. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, it's fine, but that's the that's the stressful part. Mm-hmm. That is that's the part where you know the, the it's out of your hands. The time. Kind of. Well, it's right in your hands, and that's the problem. And that's, <laughs> it's up to you. It's not oh. out of your hands. If it's out of your hands, you're in trouble. <laughs> well, I mean, it's happening, right? Right. It's happening. So. Yeah. But it, it and it's there's so much going on, and the role that I end up taking on those, I mean, that's it's in the end, it's my call, and it's my it, you know if it's right. if it's a mess, it's my fault. And uh, so, so to, to be able to handle that is a little hot in here for you. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> and, and and each time we do a film, it seems like it becomes a bigger you know we because I mean I always try the 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 next film I make better be better than the last one I made. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we also we also push to try to make something either we haven't done or it's got some sort of aspect, whether it's a special effect thing or whether it's a, you know, a line uh, just some kind of 
element to this film that I haven't messed with before. It seems like that, and that might be my influence on like, we got to try something a little different. Like, you know, we probably talk about maybe what I got going on in the future here, but later on, but I mean, like we, we keep trying to alter it and push ourselves to Mm -hmm. do something different. And that's a challenge. And what do I need to challenge myself for how I approach filmmaking? And I don't want to talk like Brett Favre here in questions. Um, uh, the living sound, legend. Uh, do I ask me questions and answer myself? That was horrible. Oh, I'm going to regret that later on if I listen to that. It's like he's right in front of me. I know. Me. <laughs> um, where was I? But that's, that's a goal of mine is to keep pushing that forward. And, and, and I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't like to talk about my, like what I think I bring to the table too much on that. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think that when we're there, people know what that is or whatever, but, but the films get made. I am a driving force in that fact, in, yeah. in that fact. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and I kind of push that element of that and, and the people I have around me help me. I couldn't do that without them. That's and so the fact that, the fact that just I, I get to work with the people and that might boil back to, you know, come right around to why I work with the same people. I feel like they understand where I'm going and sometimes they understand where I'm going without me even saying it. Yeah. And when you, when you're able to do that, like I could be mumbling like I am now on <laughs> set and you know, some I, McDonald will be like, I got you. I got you. I know <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, thank God. Cause I was ran, I ran out of words, man. And so he, he held me out you know, and keep me going. Um, the other thing which I want to talk about is when I'm, after I'm editing, one of my absolute favorite parts of like when you're working on finishing a project is when I get the sound back from my sound people and they make what I edited feel good. Uh. And, because it's just it's just awful most of the time until they get their hands on it right. and it and I'm not talking I'm talking the music and I'm talking the sound design mm-hmm. um, all that stuff and I've and I've worked McDonald has done my music on almost every movie I've made for years wow. and he's great and I trust him to to make that stuff uh, I barely have to have talk to him you know we we talk about it ahead of time but then it's it's a go and I've worked with the guys from Seamless Sound in the past, and they were wonderful. I mean, I couldn't say nice things about those guys. And right. like I've been working with uh, Nathan Eby now, who's also super talented. And you don't have he he takes it he takes it to all those guys have taken the stuff that that I have ideas on and made it better. And mm-hmm. so when I finally get to hear what. When those guys get together, whatever it is, the sound designer and Brian McDonald doing the music and everything, and they keep it all, they finally put it together for me, and I get to watch it, you know, that is my favorite part because that's usually the end of it, Mm -hmm. and they put the finishing touches on that, and they usually add stuff to that that I, you know, that I didn't even think of, Yeah, and it's it makes it better, so that that might be my finest, and that's just me enjoying it, I guess, you know, because after watching the edit and doing the edit for like a... 10 years or so, whatever it feels like, you know, <laughs> you don't even want to look at it again, but then it, it becomes a different, it becomes a fresh new vi- uh, visual mm-hmm. with, with that added audio that, that actually pulls it together. So, um, absolutely. Have you done other films besides Z fest? I assume. Yes. Like, yeah. Uh, tell me about some of those. I've, I've yeah. seen all your Z fest for a long, for a long time. Z fest was actually something that we started to do. I mean, we've done it. I mean, time goes by fast, I guess, but, when we first started that, there was this kind of a, well, I'll do that. A little extra thing that we did, but mm-hmm. me and Brian had made, we seemed to make like these long shorts, you know, like the ones that you shouldn't make that are <laughs> you know, too long to be considered a short and too short to be considered anything worth. But we just did it because that's, we wrote, you know, he, he wrote this thing and we was like, let's do it. And we would just, we financed it and did it ourselves and we made it. Mm-hmm. And we had fun doing it. And so we probably have four of those. So for about four years, five years straight, we would make our own movie that we would send off. And we just we just made it and collected the same group and, and recruited other people that we needed or whatever. And then ZFest came along at whatever it was, February, or I guess that was the end of it, but December or whatever. And then we did one of those too. And so there was about four or five year stretch that I think we made 
you know, two, you know, shorts a year. And one of them was a half an hour long and the other was 45 minutes long and the other was 35 minutes long and the other was 30 mm-hmm. minutes long. And those were all just other original ideas that Brian and I concocted and just made on our own, on our own time. Wow. And then Z-Fest was kind of the other one we did. And those now, are long and shorts, you're right. They were long shorts. And, 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 but yeah, but they're fun. And actually one of them, uh, Buffalo Shampoo, is probably my favorite of those. It's, it's a real... But it's also... <laughs> It might be my favorite one, but it's also the one I'm the most disappointed on when it comes to the technical aspects of it as far as video goes, and that's because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I know your pain. I, I, I do. I, I, I was directing and shooting at the same time and some of it. I like the shots, but it just – it should have it, – <laughs> but, you know, you learn from that, so – um, I don't shoot much of my own stuff. You just pat yourself on the back, a little Rick Root action. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't shoot much. My I can shoot, but when you're directing and doing all that, and you know, no, I, sometimes I, you lose yeah, control. Yeah. Um, Jack of all trades. So. so I don't do that. But that is my as far as content wise, and as far as I think that represents like the the com- the comedy style that Brian and I feel like do well. That one is a is a pretty good, it, you know. It's it's raunchy, but it actually has like this little underlying story yeah. with some heart, I guess. <laughs> you can find find it in there and substance. A li- you know a little. that might be pushing it, but uh, you know I appreciate the uh, I appreciate that. But it's close. But I like no, that one. It's not it's substance. It, it has what a, is it? maybe it has, not really. I don't know. Okay, you, you you should watch it and be the judge. I don't know if it has any substance, but. But I don't usually go for that. It, it, it's it's for last. But it, I think it, out of all of them, it has a little aspect of of something going on. Uh, oh, okay. above, above, no, above the comedy. Where so. can we see Buffalo Shampoo? I've got um, all of our films are on thirstyeyeshorts dot com. Okay, so oh, that's, that's like uh, they're just they're almost there in chronological order. Mm-hmm. Um, like trailer movie trailer movie trailer movie and i've got some of the stuff that even dates back to i don't know where i cut it off but i think it's got work on there from like 1999 that you can just keep scrolling back and so nice. the farther you go awesome. back the worse it gets as far as i'm gonna dig but there's some there's some comedy gold in some of that junk yeah but it's just you know it doesn't look it doesn't it look as polished its, and stuff. It's almost like you can yeah. almost watch the growth of something happen right. there if you if you take the time. Well, yeah. Which you know, I'd be impressed if you did. Right. But uh, I I will take some time. Yeah, and you get to see all of us as young people. <laughs> That's the yeah. fun part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was looking back and be like, wait. Because look at you me. now, like on the <laughs> yeah. for instance. Right. Oh, I thought you meant old. Oh well. <laughs> Just That's joking. Yeah. Look. On well. I mean, the the stuff gets better, and 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 that, and honestly, that's that's a testament to some of the or the people the that the people right. that we work with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they know what they're doing, and being able to work with them is a is a pleasure. You know, and I hope most of them. You know, hopefully, they think the same thing when they're working with me. But I know that I think that when I'm working with 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 them. I mean, they make the you know Bryce Wanling. I've shot with him uh, now for the last few projects. And I've also shot with Nick Hilliard uh, a few years back. Wonderful cinematographer, and and so was Bryce. And Bryce is also a fantastic gra- uh, like visual effects artist. And mm-hmm. working with him is awesome, you know. And I couldn't have made we couldn't have made half the you know the ideas in the last couple of years, which have been like two ideas, but um, <laughs> in the last couple of years, right? Um, w- without help from him being able to, to realize that well stuff. that that speaks to your past about having the old like you've learned there are places others can help you out and oh, absolutely excel at even better. yeah oh yeah and that says yep. something about you too so yeah thanks so where do you get your ideas for all these films i mean you just said you're doing like two films a year for years TJ Fridays. Brilliant. That's where we yes, done like that. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> where all good ideas come <laughs> from. Yeah. Uh, it, that's where a lot of them came from, uh, at least building wise. Me and Turk used to always meet at TJ Fridays or by the mall. Uh, we both worked there and we'd nice. sit there and, and uh, you know, 
drink the happy hour and come up with them. But as far as the ideas go, I don't know. It was, Mm -hmm. we'd knock back and forth and something would happen. And something always seems to spin off some parody of something else, Mm -hmm. you know, something we've been inspired of, uh, you know, or, or, you know, I, I don't know if you noticed this. If you ever watch the body of work, especially since I've known Brian uh, Turek, is I think there's probably a Karate Kid reference or two in like every movie we've made. They're in there. Hmm. That's pretty. They're awesome. in there, and 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 it's funny because I mean that's bonding. I mean, as growing up, that was one of the movies that I had on VHS that my parents had like on VHS that I watched constantly all the time. It's Karate Kid, and he was a huge Karate Kid fan too. And so I mean, we can say any line. So that just it slides into our movies. I mean, between the, the croaky contest and Buffalo shampoo was called the old Valley croaky contest. Uh, <laughs> the check signed by Martin Cove. Uh, the one we just made this year, you know, yep. we had a karate kid sequence in there. Um, I can't even think of it all. They're all in there. <laughs> okay. There's always something in there. The glory of love rip off theme song from some other movie. Uh, for some reason that movie is always in there. So it's clearly a big influence on yeah. your work. Yeah, I love that movie. I don't know why. Are there any other great movie. films that have influenced you? Maybe not quite as much as Karate Kid. Well, I don't know about a movie for sure. Um, or filmmakers. Yeah. Uh, filmmakers. Um, or anything in film. What are yeah, I mean, I grew, up, I grew up loving uh, 80s action movies and horror movies but more action movies i mm. still love that they can't make those anymore yeah they're, they're just impossible even if they tried and that's kind of became they try it they tried to i feel like they've tried to do that recently you know to kind of bring back that yeah. vibe and they can't do it it's yeah, not this, the short snagger stallone yeah absolutely i mean uh we have a movie from like 2000 that's called smoke fire that if you ever watch that you'd be surprised at how similar it is to tropic thunder uh, before, yeah, I can't take credit for that, but it's 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 not it, it's not the same, <laughs> but it's so damn close that I was like, oh my god, that's very similar to that. It was like an hour long documentary about an action movie that was never made, and we had the character that was just like Stallone. Yeah, it was it was close enough where it was it was a little freaky yeah. for me when I watched it in like 2006 in the theater, and I was like, <laughs> what the. F- you know, wow that's awesome and, uh, it was in theaters yeah and <laughs> you know as far as the the people here that uh, there, there's there's filmmakers here in town too that that as far as inspire me now mm-hmm. i mean i could i guess i could think of hollywood people that right. inspired me but i mean it's so though that stuff is so beyond like I mean, I, I look at that stuff and to be honest, people always complain about like, oh, that movie, like, like uh, hear me ready for this. It's like, oh, the last Jedi man was garbage. And I'm like, <laughs> I thought, I, I, I mean, I might not like a movie, but I'm like, do you know how nuts that is to make whatever they just made there? Like right. the idea yeah. that that was made and the energy and the talent and the stuff. And so I have a hard time like going, ah, oh, that movie sucked. Right. It was like, I, right. I, I cannot like it, but I'm like sucked. Like, Look at your movie, right? You suck. <laughs> yes. and, and I'm like, like that. That is insane. Yeah, the that, amount of that collaboration. That. I you love know? watching the making of that film, though. It's just like you can tell how much pressure is on that. Yeah, yeah. and so I have a hard time. I, I'm never one of those people that post that stuff right. where it's like, ah, this movie's just complete shit. And it's like, what do you? talking about i, I mean i might not like it like yeah. you know i know you i know you watch movies in a different view but that's yeah but i don't know if we should i mean what's the what's the standard you know i mean my movies are complete garbage compared to those movies you know like in my mind well, well it's I mean, only so, you had, shorter you you can make a long version yeah and then they're i know just as but good. but as they're far as like as good. I, i'm just you know how many van damme movies people watch that they're just like ugh but even those, even those movies took a lot of effort, <laughs> you know, to make that. Yeah. You watch Jean-Claude Van Johnson on Lion Prime? Hurt. Is Lion that like hurt. the best thing you've ever seen? The Jean-Claude Van Johnson on Prime? Watch it. All right. Well, what it is, is it? for me. It's a show. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's but perfect. I love his movies. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. I don't want to get off, you know, on anyway. track. But anyway. You're good. But, but as far as the local people, they actually push some of the local people here inspire me and push me more i mean um 
film, like Owen Royce's films, uh, Justin Shock's films, uh, S- Josh Stifter, those guys that are, you know, the, the comedy that those guys can bring and the energy that they bring to their projects and kind of that inspiring. On that kind of level, that inspires me more than when I when I see you know like I don't care what Christopher Nolan's doing next. Yeah, you know that, like what the people I know that those guys ins- those guys inspire me and almost push me harder than like because I th- I think just the idea that you know am I going to be in Hollywood someday making movies you know no nope, I don't really think so and I'm all right with that you know I have my I do what I do uh, as far as my job and like to make these you know short movies and maybe more you know that's in the works be careful someone from hollywood will listen and say we need this guy <laughs> yeah well you know i'm here he doesn't want but i'm just up. saying uh, he doesn't want I, I, that. I, i'm just saying like i'm not moving to california right yeah. I, you know if i was gonna do that i should have did that when i was 20 mm. so if you're sitting out there in minnesota thinking you're gonna make it big at 43 good luck well hey james cameron <laughs> come on why what happened I don't know. He, he was like in his 40s before he started doing something. All right. Well, I guess everything I said is just garbage. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, Picasso. Right? <laughs> maybe. All right. Well, maybe you just turn me around. Maybe yeah. I better there get. Maybe I better step up. You're going to be the next James Cameron. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you well, go. I don't know. Make one every seven years. You'll be known for that. You're telling. How old? So you're telling me when James Cameron made Terminator, he was. He, he wasn't young. Hmm. All right. I don't doubt it. Don't have to Google it. Don't Google it. <laughs> I, I, I believe you. Maybe I'm wrong. I believe you. I'm just saying that he couldn't makes have. Sense, I mean, he, he, ma- he, he married aliens. married Linda Hamilton. She wasn't like 50 or anything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Right, whatever. I think it was Titanic, maybe. Yeah, but maybe it's I mean, he was making. But he was making. He made freaking yeah. aliens. Yeah, two aliens. or whatever. Didn't he? Was that him? Yep. Yep. That was him. Yeah. So. And that was pretty sweet. I could flick. be way off. That was a pretty so. sweet movie. <laughs> Aliens 2 is I'm a great movie. I'm just to give you the inspiration. All right. Well, good try. But Whatever I, you know, ghost box that is. All right. All right. And I'm not trying to be down on myself. It's not, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh, God. But no. you, get, you get a little more realistic. And I'm just, and all I mean by that is that I guess I'm looking more towards like the people that I know that, that I think are doing awesome stuff that I can actually, that I actually talk okay. to that inspire me more than what I, you know, than what somebody in Hollywood's doing right now. Right. Right. Even though that I look at that, like and I just said that I look at that stuff and I'm like, that's crazy, you know? And as a comedy person, I even, I don't understand what the big deal is. People hating on, you know, like, um, you know, Adam Sandler all the time, <laughs> you know, I take that. <laughs> yeah. I What's wrong with him? He carved out his place, way. man. And yeah. everyone's like, that movie was awful. It's like, well, what do you, what were you expecting into an Adam Sandler movie? He's kind of told you what he's going to make for the last 20 years. Mm-hmm. So, Calm down, you know. It was what you expected, wasn't it? And if not, you should have went to something else. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so. I'm with you there. Okay, I do have a question for you. Okay. Um, and Rahana has a question, but I want to ask: Do you, since you do comedy for film, yeah, would you ever do stand up? You know, I've never considered doing stand up. I think. You're lucky you got me on a microphone with just you two in a row. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd... You ever heard my speeches at award places? No. Either have I. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> As I, like, tune out. Yeah, it's like... I, like... Gone. Done. Yeah, it's all in slow motion. <laughs> you you really just say thank you, and that's it. Is that... Well, that's good, because yeah. most of the time I don't remember, Alan, what okay. I've said. That's <laughs> true. They have it on tape somewhere. I know. I don't watch that either. I don't but watch they that don't either. share that? But no, I don't do stand-up, but... Uh, uh, you know, my uh, partner in crime, Turek, has. I think he was voted once the sixth most funniest person in uh, Bloomington. Oh, wow. <laughs> or something like Go that. Go Bloomington. I'm just joking. Nice. I don't, I don't, I, <laughs> that one bar, bar up in Bloomington the, does comedy. Up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I could do stand-up. Okay. Maybe I... You no, could produce I'm not too it, fast. Right. Yeah. yeah. I like to support it, though. I like to go watch comedy. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what's your, kind of going off on a bit of a tangent for a little bit here, what's your biggest passion, like, outside of filmmaking and all this stuff? Like, what do you like? This is my jam. 
Over outside of filmmaking? Yeah. Well, I've uh I I like the outdoors. And so I've like lately I've been a lot more into fishing than I ever was in my early life. Uh my dad always tried to get me to go fishing as a kid and I never wanted anything to do with it. And uh <laughs> you know, I kind of regret that now. Mm-hmm. Um since I sure like it. And I hunt and and then I also I also uh I've been coaching my kid in football. Oh fun. And so that's become quite a like I can't really do anything now starting in August through the middle of October. Yep. Um I think I got one weekend I got to do something else but that's been great. I did that last year and I'm doing it again and so they're my my two boys are football crazy and what ages they're seven and nine okay or almost seven and nine and so yeah that's early for football but that's what they do now so it's it's fun that's that, awesome yeah they uh so i mean i i have to sit there and we're making up plays and it's four day a week mm-hmm. practices and uh, stuff for fourth and third grade football that's but they love it and it's a it's a commitment oh yeah. absolutely it's so, that's a busy schedule but yeah yeah, but it's been fun, and that's I'm looking forward to it too. So uh, that kind of stuff has definitely turned, you know, what what I deem important as a as a different thing too. As Absolutely. you uh, as that kind of comes into your life. So mm-hmm. definitely, um, random question: If you had an autobiography, what would it be called? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> um, I know this is this is the fun part. I probably call it <laughs> go for it no the big head i don't know everyone says i got a huge head <laughs> you could go you could spin off so many you could spin off so many you know things on that what does that mean i don't know yeah the big head you know beckhead i had a friend who used to call me beckhead so maybe that beckhead okay. the autobiography there you go what's in my head besides there you go see now you you know when you have to put the hat on the like the last notch, you know, oh. you're in trouble. It's hanging you know, on there. You know, I'm not from the Upper Peninsula, but I'm almost, I guess. All right, and then <laughs> final one, and then I promise we can get back to to the actual reason that we're here. Um, <laughs> so, what is the most random, silly, strange talent that you have? Silly talent. Well, I don't want to pause too long here. Like an example. I used this example last okay. time. John Tell Krasinski. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Love. Okay, love him. He does like this uh, marionette. Is that what it's called? Thing where he acts like a, a All right. marionette. Like that. Random. Who does that? But he's really good at it. Okay. okay. What do you do? At one point in my life, I don't know, I decided that um, I really liked Elvis and I, and I tried to really sound like him. Ooh. For, for a while okay. not anymore but i used to can you give not all the time but like <laughs> just give us a taste i know that that was coming but that, that's, that's the <laughs> yeah. first thing that popped oh, in my oh, head absolutely. so i guess that's fair <laughs> um naturally you brought it up uh, so <laughs> you asked the question um i knew in blue Hawaii, and i can all come true this magic night of nights for you. No, that's not warming up, but that's as best as like, you know. That's awesome, that's though. That's good. Yeah, John yeah. Bruce, that's for you All and right. your hair, buddy, <laughs> for listening. There you go. Awesome. That's excellent. <laughs> was it? It was. We have you. <laughs> it was. On, ta- <laughs> on tape. Oh, but, you know. oh, my God. It tells... Old you might have just stopped me from listening back to this <laughs> No, I'm not we sharing need. this with anyone now. <laughs> okay, what is the biggest challenge for you when it comes to making a film? Do you what do you find the most challenging? Especially in Minnesota perhaps. Um well deciding on the idea and finding the time is probably my biggest challenge. I mean, the weather, okay. I mean, or Minnesota, but 
I, I feel like that's a lame answer because I already kind of talked about that. But that's when I first start one, it's like, okay, when am I going to do this? And then we end up coming with so many ideas that we have. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't choose. We can't choose one, or we, or we. I like this one better, and someone else likes this one, and it's you know, and it's usually a somewhat collaborative effort. So no one's like a dictator. Yeah. And no, I'm making my movie, and you're going to help me. I would we love kind to of, see that. No, we don't do that. But we kind of so coming up with that is probably once that gets decided and the green light is hit, you know, at that point, I know it's going to get made. Mm-hmm. How many meat sandwich meetings do you that, normally have? That's right. Have? Probably <laughs> six or seven at least okay. before an idea can be hatched, and that's usually with a deadline. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you meet once a week? or Yeah, well, week? we used Every to, day. but not anymore. Okay. Time in between the meat sandwiches. Right, <laughs> the meat sandwich. What do you love most about be- filming in Minnesota? Then, um, I think that, um, I think the the kind of the uh, what's the word? It's not collaborative. It's more like the. Uh, I'm not sure they are this time. <laughs> um, the willingness of the the community. When when I, it seems like when I'm looking for like a, a help or a location or people people are willing to help instead of it's usually in my uh, experience, uh, it's usually more of an open dialogue on like, oh yeah, we can help you do that versus get out of here or mm-hmm. we're not doing that. Getting permits for things if you need it is easy. I mean, so you know, that kind of stuff is. I mean, I found that simple, so I don't know. I mean, I really don't, like I said, I just haven't, I've shot movies just in Minnesota, so I don't really have an experience elsewhere if it's tough, but that's what I found is that when I need something and I want to go and like, I mean, if I wanted to shoot in this coffee shop we're recording in, mm-hmm. maybe it's me. Maybe I'm a sweet talker, but I could get it. <laughs> you are. Oh, absolutely. I could, I could get it if I wanted it. It just <laughs> seems to, and whether that's their willingness to help out the, you know, artist in me or in the community or what, mm. but I found that I can usually get what I want when it comes to that um, without too much of a problem. Do you, um, so for people that don't maybe have never filmed here or maybe haven't even thought about it, is there something like some aspect to filming and working in this community here in Minnesota that you think might surprise other people that they aren't necessarily expecting some like benefit or something where it's like, Hey, this is actually awesome being here. You should film here. Um, I think you can get about, I mean, the variety of like locations and terrain and spots in the cities and stuff that mm-hmm. you have at such a vicinity, you know, close vicinity, I think right. is a real benefit. I mean, and maybe it's a couple hours away or something like that, but I mean, between going up north and, you know, some of the valleys and stuff they have down heading to Red Wing and Rochester or through up to uh, close to or to Iowa and stuff. I mm-hmm. mean, if you needed that, I mean, you could shoot an Amish movie down there, man. You could shoot a, you know, like, uh, you could shoot something. You could, like the witch, you could, like the old yeah century yeah. right i mean you could so i mean there the farmland the city the you, you could sh- you could you could shoot pretty much anything i think you could i mean there's quarries there's mm-hmm. there's rocks there's, there's enough prairie I mean, off to the west you, and, right i mean there's enough i don't know you could so if i had to say something like that i mean you could rivers i mean you could fake lake superior for something if you needed mm-hmm. to if you want you know the beach on the park point you could fit i mean you know, you could you could figure it out i think if you wanted to you could do a lot with in a in a short range here right. we've got uh, it in all. minnesota i think so yeah all right the question what's that the i'll question. read it verbatim because <laughs> i know this is on many people's minds perhaps perhaps <laughs> perhaps <laughs> it came to me quite easily what is it like being such a dominant force for Z-Fest coming off what seemed to be a clean sweep <laughs> at Z-Fest 9? Well, hmm. And who are you drafting in this year's team? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
Well, first off, I'd like to say that I've had nothing but a blast doing Z Fest. I don't I don't know how many years I've did it, seven or eight. I don't know. Something like that. It's been a few. And each year I've had fun. The guys that run that that festival are great people. Great people. Yeah. And uh they do a so that aside, I've as far as how we did this year and how that felt, um, I, w- I had a lot of gin and tonic that night. <laughs> <laughs> and I blame Bryce Wanling for that. Yeah, <laughs> he seems to be an enabler. Yeah, right that's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I thoroughly, enjoy- I, I, I had a great time that night. I know we got, sh- our tables got, we're getting, we're getting shushed. So I know we got, <laughs> I know, I know, it happens so every we year. Might have been, we might have been rude. I don't know. I didn't mean to be. Um, we had fun, and I like that. That contest makes you uh, makes you work hard. There's lots of, I mean, lots of there's some good films in that every year, and I think that maybe this year we we just f- finally found the formula that didn't offend a judge to sink <laughs> our movie <laughs> is what I think might have happened. But regardless, I mean, it was well received. I mean, across the board, you're right. I mean, it. I, I, we ended up winning way more than I ever expected, and it was a pleasant surprise. And I needed pictures afterward to remember exactly everything that occurred. But <laughs> I had fun, and I don't know. I mean, just like every year, I'm sure there's whispers of how did that POS <laughs> win all this <laughs> mine should have won because that's what it is every year every year so um well now i would have loved now it. that it's something right well I mean, yeah i mean new hope cinema lounge come on yeah <laughs> yeah i don't think there was a fight in the parking lot this year though <laughs> so that's a plus yeah there was the first year oh i didn't hear about that what happened no, i don't know man it was you, you know hear? some locals i watched it <laughs> Oh, just, some fisticuffs uh, out there, you know. Just Some, kids yeah, just somebody, crazy. somebody, just somebody some wanted a cigarette, and somebody didn't want to give him one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I think that's what it was about. New hope. Um, we had a good time. It was a pleasant surprise, and there were some good films that year. So, uh, did that answer your question? Did you want me to yeah. be more? Yeah, uh, I guess vicious? that wraps <laughs> that up. I mean, like, uh, I mean. I, do you have any ideas for the next one? What's next here? Um, yeah, well, originally I debated not doing one. I mean, after, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. we, we'd yeah. done it so many years in a row, and I thought maybe we won so many awards. It was kind of the, now the you can note. go away. <laughs> you won, leave. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I like it so much. That, like I said, I think the festival's great, and I think it actually pushes pushes us to, you know, make sure that we're we're working as hard as we can to, make something unique and um you know and funny we're just but, a few weeks out from finding out a control element probably so yeah i suppose you're right yeah it does come up quick yeah. um but yeah we had we w- i know we're thinking about if we do it i th- i have been talking to brian and brian about it and john harris my other partner in crime um we think we might go a different route this year and try something a little different um or maybe we'll do one of our usuals and then try something else if, yeah. we've, if we can if we can find the time but that's you know i usually i usually only can do one and then maybe help on another or something like that is what it's been the last couple of years i don't have the time to spread between multiple projects even though i wish i could so you got football so that yeah you know yeah but yeah Usually, I can. <laughs> we're shooting after that. Good, but yeah. Football. There's your movie football. <laughs> Kids it's football. Coming. Yeah, Pee Wee football. football. There you no. go. Yeah. With the dog too. You can do that. Something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I think we we might have one in the works. So yeah, oh. we usually like to do it. We'll stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah. So, everyone, if you're interested in Ryan, learning more about Ryan, connecting with ryan how can they get a hold of you um thirsty shorts.com is where you can view like i said pretty much you know the the short work and any kind of work 
that I've done. We've just kind of got that up there. Um, Ryan at RyanBeckon.com is probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. Just my name. Um, I don't Twitter too much. I don't tweet. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but Facebook, you can find me there. I wonder why. Under my real name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a fake name. So you can find right. me there. And uh, yeah. Awesome. That well, was. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and and talking to us for a little bit, answering all of our weird questions. We appreciate it. Thank you. You guys were great, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. I had fun. Thanks, Ryan. We'll have you back, hopefully again next year. All right. All right. Okay. Take care. Well, thank you for listening to our podcast. We appreciate you joining in. We run a show every other week. And if you are in film and are interested in being on the show with us and being our guest, uh, you can reach us in a few different places. We do have an email. It is filminminnesota at gmail.com, as well as on Instagram or Facebook. Our name is, believe it or not, Film in Minnesota. So thanks for joining in. Yeah. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye.